Uh, I'm in my backyard junkyard here. This is one of my parts cars. This is going to apply to uh, a lot of Audis and VWs and maybe just about any car. But in particular, these B8A4s have this steering shaft right here that comes right... See, the other side of this goes up all the way to the steering column and steering wheel. And this part right here comes down here to your steering rack. And it bolts in right down here below this output flange for your drive axle. And this right here is your universal joint that gets locked up and I cannot push it by hand. And in fact, I went ahead and tried to get a pair of pliers and <clears throat> I can't even move it with pliers. You hear my neighbor's farm over there, they got chickens, but Anyway, this one's, this one's been sitting, right? So maybe it just rusted from sitting from no hood on it and stuff, but that's how they get. And if you don't have one of those splash pans, if you went to one of those quickie lube places and they took your splash pan off and kept it, you're getting all that water splashed up on here and this universal joint's gonna rust and it's gonna make that happen sooner. Well, I just got back from a long trip and mine's completely locked up. So I'm about to show you so I don't have a brand new one right now. I just used the, the brand new one I had on my other car. And you'll see, this is what the shafts look like. This part right here goes into the firewall to keep the elements out of the car. And then you have a universal joint on either end. This side right here will slide in and out. For instance, if you're removing the engine, you have to take this loose and then slide it in to get enough room to pull the subframe down if that's how you're doing it um, so this side stays in the car this side is never the issue it's always the universal joint that's on the outside and so this is off my parts car I got this parts car from or Orlando Florida so even though this is probably the original I don't know if it has a date on there but everything on that car is in good shape but all my Midwest cars that deal with salt snow and ice and all that kind of stuff look at this thing it it moves a little bit but it's completely locked up i was driving it like this so it got bad i sprayed oil on it and it kind of fixed itself for about four days and then it got even worse so i had a torch with me i was curious if i could get it hot and it would loosen back this, up. this car has not been sitting it's been driven regularly and it's supposed to move both ways but i'm going to try to get it to move this way it's extremely stiff moving back and forth this way so that can be that can be a safety issue it felt like really notchy like i could move it this much so it didn't it didn't interfere too much on the highway but anything else anything more than a little bit of you, maybe if you go like so the steering felt extremely notchy i was i had a little range of motion on the top but as soon as you'd need to go a little bit further it would just you'd have to you'd have to just force it even with power steering and then you'd have to force it back the steering wheel would not correct itself so really not fun to drive the car like that and especially you know exactly what's happening uh so it potentially it could get as locked up as the one i showed you in my backyard so really all there is to it is a bolt on the bottom and a bolt underneath the dash uh all you really have to do is take the splash pan out to, to get to the bottom bolt and then the top bolt you can do, get to with nothing. The, the hardest part is just popping this grommet out and then pulling this grommet back through the firewall. So I don't really think I need to do a tut tutorial video. I'm just telling you, if you got notchy hard steering, um, this is one of the first culprits. If it's not notchy, then it could be the power steering pump. I've had to replace one of those before, but it's very rare. Uh, they do take a special type of mineral fluid not your standard power steering fluids. So don't mix your fluids up. And you just simply unbolt it 
right here. Triple square 